Hello, dear students. Our lesson today is about solving equations with rational numbers. What do I mean by rational number? Let's review the meaning of rational numbers. A rational number is all the numbers that can be written as a over b. Numbers that can be written as fractions, like 7 over 10, 5 over 10. And when you divide the numbers, the, the top by the bottom, the top number by the bottom number, of course, you will get a decimal number. This is also can be uh, expressed as a rational number. So all the, the rational number is the number that can be written as in the form of A over B. Okay? So let's have this warm-up first. Let us add these two numbers. Uh, whenever you have two fractions to add, remember that you have to get the least common denominator. Here we have the same denominator, so I can just add the numerators and keep the denominator the same. So it's going to be 12 over 10, and I can simplify this by dividing 12 by 10, long division. As you see, this is an improper fraction, and I can change it to a mixed number by dividing 12 to 10, which is 1 and... Now let us write it as a mixed number so it's going to be 1 and 2 over 10 I can simplify also 2 over 10 because 2 and 10 are both divisible by 2 so it's going to be 1 and 1 over 5 because 2 divided by 2 is 1 and 2 divided by 2 is 5 let's do the next one here we are subtracting two the mixed numbers subtract the whole numbers first 2 minus 1 equals one now you have different denominators you have different denominators so i have to get the common denominator here eight and sixteen um the a common denominator here is going to be list the uh, multiples of sixteen and the multiples of eight you will have like sixteen which is the common multiple between them so i'm going to change both of them to sixteen how? By multiplying the 8 by 2 here. And of course, you have to multiply the 3 by 2. Whatever you do to the denominator, you have to do to the numerator. So it's going to be 6 over 16. 6 minus 5, this is 1. So guys, remember that you have to get the least common multiple uh, for the denominator, the LCM. By listing the multiples, this way you can get the common denominator. Okay, now here we have two uh, decimal numbers. Just line them up on top of each other. This is the easiest way. Line up the decimal points. I have three and six, and I have four and eight. You can put them in any order, it's okay. Now you start adding. Don't forget to drop the decimal point first in the same place. Then add normally. 6 plus 8 is 14. You need to regroup, of course. And this is 8, so 8.4. We are going to do the same thing when solving equations that involve rational numbers, decimals and the fractions. Here we have two numbers. We need to subtract two uh, decimal numbers. I will do the same thing. Always start with one number with more digits. Or uh, here, I have like 2.4, uh, with the greater number I mean, the number which, which is greater is 2.4 minus 0 0.05. In the empty place, I am going to put a 0 to hold that place. It's very important to do this. Now start subtracting normally. Drop the decimal point in the same place. Uh, in the uh, difference, then you have to start subtracting starting from right to left. The zero is not enough to be subtract uh, to subtract five from it. So I'm going to regroup. This is going to be ten, and this is going to be three. Ten minus five, that is five. Three minus zero, three, and two. Two and thirty-five hundredths. So this is the way how you do the operations for fractions and decimals. Next, 
Let's have some equations that involve rational numbers. Let's learn to solve equations with rational numbers. For example, I have n plus 4. So remember, guys, whenever you have any equation, remember that you have to keep the balance for this equation. Whatever you do to the right side, you have to do to the left side. And the right side is exactly is exactly the same as the left side. They, uh, they have the same answer. So whenever you want to solve any equation, remember that we need to isolate the variable. So first of all, you have to decide where the, where the place of the variable, here the variable. And I have to undo, undo the operation that I'm, I'm having here. I am having addition. So I will undo addition by using subtraction. I'm going to subtract both sides with uh, 4.6. Here, you will uh, get rid of this 4.6, so you can isolate or put the M alone on one side. And now you subtract 9 minus 4.6. If the decimal point is not inside, it is on the right, you just add it to the whole number and add two zeros just to hold the places or one zero. Now minus 4.6 and start subtracting normally. Drop the decimal point in the same place. Now, 0 minus 6, it's not enough. I need to regroup. Normal subtraction. And this is going to be 8. 10 minus 6 is 4. And 8 minus 4 is 4. So, M is equal to 4.4. To check my answer, you can replace or substitute the 4.4 with the m and see if the answer is going to be 9. So if you put 4 plus uh, instead of the m, 4.4 4 plus 4.6, it will definitely give you 9. If you line them up on top of each other, you will find that it's going to be 9. So my solution is correct. Four point six add. Yes, you need to regroup. Don't forget to drop the decimal point in its place. Yes, it is nine, exactly nine. So my answer is correct. Let's have another example. Solving equation that involve rational number. This is a multiplication equation. Whenever you don't have a sign between the variable and the number, that means it is multiplication. I need to undo multiplication. How? Using the inverse operation of multiplication, which is division. That means you will divide both sides by 8.2. This way, I will get the P isolated. I'm going to get it on one side, alone at one side, and divide this by 8.2 also. Now I am dividing a decimal by a decimal. Remember, guys, whenever you cannot divide by a divisor, which is a decimal number, I need to change it to a whole number by multiply it by a power of 10. If you multiply it by 10, you will change it to 82. And this also... You multiply it by 10. Whatever you do to the denominator, you have to do the, to the numerator. It's going to be 328. Now, divide 328 by 82. Normal division. Okay. Guess a number. If you multiply it by 82, you will get 328. Because 32 is less than 82, I cannot subtract. Let's just try 5. It's very high. I will try 4. 4 times 82. Yes, uh, it's exactly 328. Okay. Subtract. So the answer is going to be 4. Put the sign which is negative it's negative here so i'm going to put it negative here okay later we will have uh, uh for next year i mean we will have how to divide the 
numbers that have 